another technique. You may want to prime the pump with what I really want to say is that once you decide what comes out and what goes into the document, concise phrasing can become challenging. In my experience in leading writing workshops, I've discovered that most people talk better than they write. If you're one of those people, try squeezing out the unnecessary words with this starter sentence. What I really want to say is that, and then finish that thought. Then you can always circle back later and delete the front part of that sentence. What's left will be a clean cut opening line for your document. Another technique, select strong verbs. Don't spend two or three words to prop up a weak verb in, from the beginning. You'll recognize weak verbs and weak sentences that begin with there is, there are, it is, it was, they seem, there are. If you need an adverb, an adverb of course is a word that most often ends in ly, if you need one of those to prop up the verb, just grab a stronger verb to begin with. In other words, don't write a sentence like this. There seems to be problems with this software. That's eight words. When you could write, this software has bugs. That's four words, half the length. In short, say it and stop. Intentional repetition adds emphasis. That's good. Unintentional repetition and unnecessary words obscure the message. They add nothing but length. What are your techniques for spotting the clutter in your own writing? Add your comments below.